Hey, what's going on? This is Ned Luke coming at you from my man cave. That right there, you know me as Michael DeSanta from Grand Theft Auto V. Hey, I'm sitting down here. My boy, Money Glitch God, tells me that he's got the best YouTube channel ever. Well, here I am in my man cave now, stuck with a room full of that cunt. And I'll tell you what, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But you want to check it out and find out. <laughs> Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's good to see you back this soon again. It's me again, Money Glitch. Go! And today, all right, you see I've been making these dupe cars. I got four in here, and I'm going to show you guys the only working solo Money Glitch right now. Now, you might have seen this glitch already again. It is the solo nightclub glitch. The other one does use the nightclub too, but I've been hearing that glitch is patched. So I'm going to be trying that glitch and reporting back if it's patched, but I know this one probably will work. Now you can't see the crew logos on these two cards. These are the elegies in slot nine and 10 right here, nine and 10. You, I, you have to be at least level 10 in the crew you're currently in. So if you can use crew emblems in the crew you're currently in, Put it on any two cards, preferably the free elegies right here in slot 9 and 10. All right, so what the reason you're doing that is because when you come online, if you put them in garage number two, also in slot number one, you want the car you want to duplicate. Now, I've already duplicated it three or four times, and I'm going to duplicate the rest of these cars. So the rest of these should all, except for the last two on the list, the rest of them will be nightmare issues. So... The first thing that you want to do to make sure the glitch is working, this is not part of the glitch. It doesn't have to happen, but switch spots 9 and 10 around. And if they disappear for a long time, you know that the cars are glitched out. Now, I do have glitched crews in the description of the video and pinned, both pinned and in the description that you can use, okay, for this glitch. All right, this is Office Garage B2. And then also in slot one, like I said, you need the car you want to duplicate. Now, I've already duped some of these in here, three of them, and now I'm going to do more, all right? So, to start this glitch out, you want to join a glitch crew. If you can't find a glitch crew to join, all you have to do is make a glitch, make a crew on the Rockstar website. Look, now the cars finally came back. What you want to do is make a crew on the Rockstar website and then put a naughty picture as the crew emblem so the way you do that is just upload any picture to the wall of your crew and then try to make it your emblem if it's naughty rockstar will put a little like a blurred out kind of image over it and that is what creates the glitch crew so once you have all that done if you come in here and the cars do not disappear or take a long time to show up then register as a motorcycle club first then you should see the cars despawn so the first thing you want to do to hit this glitch is go into office garage number three. It might take a while to get in there, but you have to start this. This is how, first of all, I showed you how to set up garage number B2. Now that B2 is set up, you start the glitch in B3 is what I'm trying to say. It's going to be pretty nice. Glitch is going to make you absolutely rich. Rinse and repeat's pretty easy. So I have four cars in there right now. I'm going to make two of them real quick maybe for you guys. So other than that, you need an MOC. Um, you do not need custom plates for this glitch. This, gl this glitch creates clean dupes, which is super legit, okay? So you do not need custom plates for this you do need either an office garage with an empty slot or a mobile operational center though and what's taking so long on the black screen is because the because the glitch is working that's how much time see that right there guys that's how much time we have right there to hit this glitch that's why we have so much time so right when we get off the elevator once we are in basement level three 
garage level three. Once we're in garage level three, and then once we know garage level two is set up, then we're ready to do the glitch. So just wait in the land. This is the honestly the worst part of doing the glitch is the black screen that you get in between. Otherwise, we could do this so fast. Maybe if I only used one glitched out car, it would be faster. That's something I wanted to test. I think for sure, if you only use one glitched out car, it should be faster. Or maybe me switching the cars around before I hit the elevator is causing this huge delay. You know, but either way, um, hopefully we land soon and we don't have to deal with this again. So here we go. Go over to here, select basement level two, right away hit start to go to online criminal mastermind starter pack, back out, go to jobs, play jobs, rockstar created, missions, tighten of a job and start it up. You get all the time in the world to do this. So that's why I just explained it slowly and deliberately. So don't go too fast for your fingers. All right, so right when you get in here, what you want to do is just back out. And once you back out, you hit the elevator up and you go to office level th or basement level three and nothing happens. So once you have that, it should be pretty easy to hit the rest of the glitch. You just there should be one car showing up. Boom, grab it in slot one, switch it around with one of the free cars and nothing should happen in the garage. So that means it thinks this is a free car now. So when we drive it out, the magic happens. If you had a plate on your car that you're duplicating, it would change the plates right now. So now that we got this, the last thing we need to do before you request the MOC, make sure that you, um, hey, it says it's not empty. I guess you have to get out of your car. Sometimes it works if you just drive a little bit. So request the MOC. Nice ride and stuff. There we go. My money was wiped, everybody. Look at that. I had 80 million. They took 17 million dollars from me. Rockstar did. And they gave me a message that said, We wiped your money, dude. So now that we request the MOC to save this car, simply all you have to do is drive in the back of the MOC and that's it now if you don't have a mobile operational center with a personal vehicle storage like it shows right here then you have to drive over to your CEO building and put it in your office garage if your office garage is full and you try that then you're gonna be stuck in a black screen forever so the thing to do is make sure you have free empty slots inside your MOC just make sure you do that's what you got to do so now we transfer whatever car was in the back of the MOC which is one of these to this garage up here now we're gonna go back to this garage and show you that we have more because clearly we just transferred it so now we're gonna enter basement level 2 it says a vehicle has to be transferred and voila glitch hit thank you guys so much for being here this is still absolutely working um look one two three four five so boom i think we have we just added two more to this so there there we go we're ready to go remember guys there was only four issies in here before we just put a regular free elegy back over there. Look, we have two, three, four, and the two are in here. Boom. There you go. They'll appear soon. You can go sell them, do whatever you want with them. There we go, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you all. It's me again.